Hi everyone, my name is Kat Fedosova. I'm a professional ballroom dancer and today we're going to learn how to dance Kukaracha. And thank you so much Miran TV for having me today. And as you can see, the logo is flipped, which means this video is mirrored for you to follow along. All right guys, let me take you to Cuba because rumba is a Cuban dance. And envision yourself being on a plantation and having the coffee beans on, your, on the top of your head. So when we starting, we are moving our hips from side to side without moving our head. So the goal is never drop the beans, remember? So we're going to move right side, left side, right side, left side, by bending our knee. We always have to keep ankle to ankle connected with a little bit of V. So the toes are sp split in a V and the ankles are connected. So as we change weight, I always keep my ankles connected. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And especially for ladies, it's very important to keep knee moving um, diagonal and covering the leg. So this way you can create more rotation and better leg line. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. As you get more advanced and your hips are really warm, try to really, really move your hip away from your, um, from your rib cage and from your spine. So what I'm trying to do right now, I'm really twisting my hip back and then I'm going to twist my hip back as much as I'm flexible, as much as you can go for it, right? So you always want to create as much rotation in your hips as you can do. Two, three, four, one. So let's break it down. I'm having my weight on the left foot. My right foot is bent. From here, I'm shifting my weight from left to right, and I'm going to bend my left knee. As you can see, what happened here, the hip level changed. My right hip is higher than my left hip. And if we do the same to the left side, you can see my left hip is higher than my right hip. So this is a perfect exercise to use for a hip warm up. And let's try it with the counts. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. So simply you can see I created the different levels by bending my knee. When my left knee bent, my right hip is higher. My, when my right knee bent, my left hip is higher. That's how we are moving our hips in Roomba. Okay, let's move to a next step. A part of the Kukoracha is the figure eight. We are moving our hips literally in the figure eight or infinity uh, sign. So my weight is shifting from right to left, from left to right. It's important to understand how our rib cage and hips are aligned. Because if your rib cage is in front and your hips are behind, it will be very, very hard to transfer weight uh, for the figure eight. So make sure your rib cage is in and your hip, hips and your tailbone is tucked in. So as you can see, hips and ribs aligned. 
this is my station, a remote control where I have different buttons. Okay, so in order to move to the side, I'm moving my right hip, my left hip away from my right rib. And same, I'm going to create to the other side. So like an isolated position, right? So two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Now we're going to add a circle in the hip. So as I move to the left, my right, right hip is away. Now my right hip I'm going to release and my left hip will continue with the circle. Now extend my right rib, my left hip away. Now I'm going to release my left hip to continue creating circle on the right side. And extend and rotation. Extend, rotation. Extend, rotation. Extend, rotation. So now we only do and talk about uh, going to the right and going to the left. What happened in between? In between, we have a neutral position where our ribs and hips are in neutral position, nothing extended or elevated. So this is important position in rumba, in cha-cha, in samba, any Latin styles. Because anything we do, we're going to go through neutral position in the hip action, neutral change, neutral change. Same in the um, figure eight position. And neutral change, neutral change, neutral change. So this neutral position are the moment where I tuck in my tailbone and my rib cage is closed. Nothing moves anywhere. So as you can see, when I move away, I'm creating a right rib cage extension from my left hip. Then my right hip continue moving in a circle. Then I'm going to through the neutral position and then to the left side and right hip away from my left rib cage. And then I continue with the hip rotation to the left side, neutral. And this happened, the neutral position happens in a split second. No one will see it. No one will count it because there is no count for showing that. It just happens in between, right? And two, and three, and four, one. And two, and three, and four, one. Make sure you work on your core and have a strong muscles. It will really benefit you in any dances, in any movements. Now, since we learned the hip warm up and the figure eight, let's connect them together. So we're going, going to start off from the position closing feet and switch a body weight. And now we will continue moving toward the left side and come back to the right foot. Connect, collect your left to your right, change, and place your right foot to the side, moving your hip toward right, come back to the left, and collect, and switch. And now to the left, come back to the right, and collect, and switch. Now to the right, come back to the left, and collect, switch. Let's put it to, count, to counts. So we're going to start off four, one. That's the moment when we are switching our feet. Continue with two to the right, come back with three to the left. Continue with four, one, feet together, change weight. Continue to the left on two, continue with, to the right with three, and feet together, four, one, switch. And two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. 
two, three, four, one. And for the arms, let's place them in the frame to the sides. And as we dance Kokoracha step, I want you to keep them with the steps. And one, two, three, four, one, two, three. As you can see, as I move along, my arms are moving slightly with me, but I'm going to give you a proper instruction in the future only for the arms. And now let's try it to music. Pretty fast. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Now let's try to keep it with more style and fun by looking to the side. Two, three, as we go to Kukaracha, left and right. Four, one. And extend your arms. I hope you enjoyed dancing, learning, practicing Kokoracha step. I know it's not that easy. It looks easy, but it's very, very difficult step to learn and it takes time to perfect it and feel comfortable with it. So practice every day. Make sure you warm your hips, be prepared. In the future, we will learn how to move our arms about posture and about our feet. And if you like my outfit, this is from my collection. You can find more information in the description box below. Or you can go online and purchase it on catfedosova.com.